All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another little impromptu video. We're here in the backyard, and I wanted to talk to you guys to that talk to you guys today about emotions in trading. And this was something that actually helped me turn profitable, and could help a lot of you guys turn profitable. So again, this is going to be something that's away from the charts. Me just sitting down and talking to you guys face to face about trading. Again, this could be part of the trading transformation, but I figured. This is probably a better way to approach it. Just me sitting down in front of you guys, raw, off the dome, talking about how you can remove emotions from trading and how you can remove emotional connection to money within trading. So that's actually going to be the first step is how can you remove emotions from money within trading? Because if we think about money, you need money to live. You need money to have a roof over your head. You need money uh, to you know put food on the put food on the table in order to live um, just a solid life. You need money and it, that's what sucks about today's world, but there's no avoiding that, okay? And a lot of you guys are getting into trading for money and you're getting into trading because you need trading to change your current situation. And that's a bad thing, okay? If you guys are getting into trading because you think you're going to make a certain amount of money in trading and you need that money right now, Trading is never going to work out for you. If you're trying to get into trading because you need a certain amount of money or you're starting trading because you think it will instantly get you a certain amount of money to fix some sort of debt or some sort of bad situation that you're in, you will never be a profitable trader, okay? So with that in mind, how can you guys day trade and remove that emotional connection to money? So the first thing would be Make sure you already have a stable job or make sure that you have, whether it's a nine to five or a side hustle like I talked in the last video about just getting a job to pay off all your living expenses so you're not thinking while you're trading like, oh, I need to hit this trade or I need to make X amount of money per month in order to survive, in order to keep living off of this profession as trading, okay? We can't have that in our head, especially when we're starting to learn how to trade because then we're going to make emotional decisions, we're going to close out of trades too early, we're going to over leverage because we want to make certain amounts of money every single trade, so we need to avoid all of that, okay? So that would be the first step, is make sure that you have a job that can pay your bills, okay? So when you're learning how to trade, you don't need trading to make you money. You can start learning on demo, and this is another thing that I talked about in the last video, is you guys should be trading on demo so that, so that there's no emotional connection to money at all when you're learning the skill of trading. And again, going back to last video, you guys are going to want to trade on demo until you're confident in your skill of trading to be able to take trades and be willing to bet on yourself, bet on your skill of trading that you are going to be profitable over a long period of time and then money is just a, a reward for you being a skilled trader. It's not putting a certain amount of money down and then betting on a single trade. It's betting on your skill set as a trader that over a long period of time, you will be profitable, okay? So moving forward from that, you guys need to have a job to pay for all your living expenses so you're not relying on trading to make you money. Now, what if you already have that and you still find yourself over leveraging and over trading and getting emotional with the money, getting too greedy or getting scared, that means you're risking money that you are not willing to lose, okay? And and that also might be a confidence issue, okay? So if you don't have the confidence in your skill set in trading, you guys gotta go back and start trading on demo until you guys have that confidence. Now, let's say that you guys have that confidence built up from trading on demo, you guys have a job that pays for all of your living expenses, cool but you're still feeling emotions in trading and that's okay, that's happened to me in the past. I'm sure that's happening to a lot of you guys right now, okay? And that's, and that's okay because again, we're human and we're emotionally attached to money. So even if you have all those other things taken care of, you still might be getting too greedy or getting emotional, getting scared of losing money, okay? And the, the easiest thing that I can tell you to help solve, solve this problem is Trust in yourself, trust in your ability, because again, you prove to yourself that you are profitable on demo, so what's going to change within a live account or within a funded account? There should be no change, okay? Because you believe and you trust and you have confidence in your skill as a day trader, okay? And then on top of that, don't risk money that you're, that you're afraid to lose or you can't afford to lose. And what do I mean by that? Let's say you're on a live account, you prove to yourself that you should have the comp 
Whoa. You prove to yourself that you should have the confidence to be profitable and to be able to take profitable trades, but you find yourself closing out of trades too early, being scared and lowering your stop loss or trading without a stop loss because you don't wanna lose money. All of these are signs of emotional trading. Okay, so how can we remove that? Well, you don't have to be risking one full percent each time. If you're too scared to be risking one percent, even though that you know you're a profitable trader, it's okay, just take a step, take, take foot off the gas, risk the minimum amount that you're able to trade. So if you're trading futures, risk one contract, okay? If you're trading on um, CFDs, CFDs risk 0.01 lots. Okay, so now you're just risking the minimum. You're getting used to trading with actual real money because again, with demo, you weren't losing or making any money. And then when you get into a live account, even though you have that confidence of that skill set of trading, Okay, you still might be uneasy and you still might be like, damn, I have never felt what it feels like to lose a trade. Let's say you lose a trade and you get emotional and then you want to take another trade. We can't be doing that. Okay, so I'm sure all of you guys know like the top list of things, the top mistakes that traders make um, as emotional day traders, right? It's going to be over leveraging, over trading, revenge trading, extending take profits, removing stop losses or moving stop losses down. Those are kind of the main overall signs of a emotionally emotional day trader that is emotionally attached to money. So how can we eliminate that if we know that we're profitable? Start risking with the littlest amount, okay? So one contract or 0.01 lots. And then on top of that, this is a little tip that I used back when I was trading. If you only have one take profit, this is going to sound crazy. You guys can place the trade, set the stop loss, set the take profit, and Okay, I went like above and beyond. I deleted the app or you can just turn it off and literally just don't look at the app until the next day when you're about to trade and you can see like, oh, price hit take profit, awesome. I stuck to my plan, I risked what I wanted to and I made money. Or the next morning you wake up, oh, I hit stop loss, damn, that sucks, but I followed my plan, I risked what I was supposed to and it hit stop loss and I know that I'm still confident that I'll be able to trade and I'll be able to take winning trades because I proved to myself that I'm profitable on demo, so I know that I can have the confidence to again risk that same amount today and then rinse and repeat it. Okay, so if you guys are scared and find yourself revenge trading when you lose trades, or if you guys find yourself hitting and take profit and then you guys get overconfident, okay, because that's a thing within the market too, you guys might win a trade and you're like, oh, holy shit, I'm really good, and then you risk more with the, the profits that you made from that, that trade the same day and then you end up losing because you're not taking trades off of actual confluences, you're not taking trades off of confidence, off your trading plan, off of your own psychology, you're, you're taking it off of overconfidence and greed because you wanna make more money, okay? So that's a, a super easy step that can eliminate two of those emotions, which is greed and which is fear because you're pretty much removing the chance of even being able to do that. You take your one trade for the day, you set the stop loss, you set the take profit, and then you don't look at the app until the very next day and see if it hits stop loss or take profit, and then it's like, boom. The next day, you trade, set stop loss, set take profit, you wake up the next morning, oh, I won, cool. Next day, rinse and repeat. That is going to be one of the biggest tips that I could give to you guys to help eliminate emotions within trading, and then it's going to get to a certain point where that just becomes natural, and then you can check in on your trade as it's developing. You guys can peep at trading view every now and then, okay? Like, what is that going to do? You, you know, like if we think about it, what is looking at trading view going to do? What is looking at the trading app going to do? That's going to change your guys' bias, right? Like we don't need to be charting up anymore. Once you enter the trade and once you set your exit points, there should be no reason for you to want to go back in and readjust and rechart. Analysis paralysis is a, is a thing. If you guys, this is another tip that really, that really helped me when I first started trading. Once you chart up your setup, and you place the trade, stop charting because you guys are gonna just keep drawing fucking lines, keep drawing different confluences and then you're gonna get in your head like, oh, this is a bearish confluence and I just took a buy. And then you're gonna exit your buy trade and then you're gonna enter into a sell. And then boom, the sell ends up hitting stop loss and the buy trade would have hit take profit and then you're in your head and you're like, damn, well, I was right about the first trade but then I was wrong about the second one and if I was right about the first one, then I can enter another one. See how that can fuck up your headspace and see how that can fuck up your mental? So just breathe okay and it can really be boiled down to just discipline you know you know exactly what you're supposed to do taking one to two trades or whatever your trading plan says 
like I can't reach through the camera and I can't reach through the screen and do that for you. I wish I could. I wish I could just, you know, like hold your neck and hold your finger from pressing that buy button or pressing more more lot sizes than you're supposed to or pressing more contracts than you're supposed to. I wish I could do that, but I can't. So there's a certain task of like responsibility on your end to just be disciplined enough to not do that, to not increase the lot size, to not place the extra trade. And, and then that boils down to like, how bad do you actually want to be a day trader? Because if you're full porting and over trading, revenge trading, moving your take profit and moving your stop loss, which is things that you know that unprofitable traders do, that people who are bad at trading do, and that profitable traders don't do, kind of goes to show like, you don't really want to do this trading shit bad enough. You know, it's like, it's more of a shot at yourself. Like, take a look in the mirror. Like, do you really want to be a profitable trader? Like, have the skill set of being a profitable trader? Or are you in this just for a quick cash grab? Do you think this is a get rich quick scheme? Because it's not. It's a skill set. And the sooner that you guys can figure that out, and the sooner that you realize that discipline is part of the skill set that you need to be a profitable trader where you aren't taking hella trades that you're not supposed to, you aren't taking trades off of confluences that you know aren't even there. You're not risking more than you should. You're not removing your stop loss. You're not extending your take profit because you just wanna make more and more and more, okay? When you're not doing all that, it really gets super fucking simple. Stick to your trading plan and do what you're supposed to. You know exactly what you're supposed to do as a profitable trader. Think about every profitable trader ever. What do they do? They use risk management. They keep their psychology in check by being disciplined and they have their edge and they follow that edge, their trading plan day in and day out. And then boom, they're profitable over the course of time. Okay. So even if you guys are unprofitable right now, stop trying to speed up your journey by thinking that over leveraging is going to work or revenge trading is going to work or over trading is going to work. No, look at the top people who are doing this shit. Look at the people who are profitable and see what they're doing and do exactly what they're doing. Use your edge, use risk management, use psychology, your discipline. And those are the three things that you need to do. And then if you guys can do those three things consistently over the course of a long period of time, what's going to happen? You guys are going to turn into profitable traders because that's how profitable traders act. Okay, so hopefully you guys gain something from this video. Hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm talking to unprofitable me right now. I'm talking to all of you guys who are trying to turn profitable where psychology is probably one of the biggest issues within your trading career where emotional attachment to money is one of the biggest things that you guys are trying to get over. Boil it down to if I stay disciplined, I will turn profitable. If I stay disciplined, I'm taking another step in the right direction to one, achieving my dreams of being a profitable trader and two, extending my skill set as a profitable trader and three, you're, you're, you're promising to yourself like, hey, I actually want to do this. I know this isn't a get rich quick scheme and I know what it takes to become a profitable trader, okay? So you kind of have a choice of whether or not you guys want to do that because again, I wish I could reach, reach through the screen and stop you guys from placing more trades and stop you guys from, you know, buying more contracts than you should or placing a higher lot size than you should, but I can't. I can only make this video and tell you guys exactly what you should do and then trust that you guys are going to do that and trust that you guys are going to actually execute on what I just told you. There's nothing else that I can say besides do what you are supposed to. And this video is pretty fucking self-explanatory. I didn't really even have to make this video, but a lot of you guys need to be reminded of this shit because day in and day out, you're making these same mistakes over and over again. Remember, think back to that other video that I made. If you guys make mistakes, Make it only happen once and never do it again. Odds that it happens twice, it's probably pretty likely, but that second time is a reminder, you should never do that mistake again. And then after that second time, you should never make that mistake again. So if you over leverage once, you guys get the consequences of it, never do it again, you know what's going to happen. If you guys revenge trade, you guys get the consequence of it, you guys know what's going to happen, never do it again. If you guys remove your stop loss, your whole account gets blown, you guys see the consequence, never do it again. You guys increase your take profit, your first take profit gets hit, but your, your extended one that you moved all the way up doesn't, you don't make any money, you see the consequence, never do it again. And then at that point, th there's, there's really small, like the, the smallest mistakes left until you're you turn profitable. A lot of the things that are, that's holding you back from turning profitable is just yourself. So hopefully you guys gained something from this video. I had to sit you guys down and chop shit up. If you guys are new to my channel, 
welcome. I have a free course for you guys. Again, like this is no shill whatsoever. It's completely free. If you guys want to learn trading from me where I include psychology and strategy, I'll link wherever the fuck on the screen. It's going to pop up. Day one of the boot camp. Okay, go through my entire boot camp. It's literally my course for free that teaches you guys how to trade. And then on top of that, we have the trading transformation that is going to go on for the rest of my YouTube career on trading to help you guys become profitable traders. Watch that if you guys are just getting started and getting into trading. If you guys are old OG people, thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.